Chung. I'm the product manager for the Sketchbook product family. I myself am from a product design background. That's really my, my strong tie-in with the product family. Uh, they all offer such different advantages. I think the coolest thing about the phones is the fact that you don't have to be creative just at your desktop. You actually can have an idea uh, at the bus stop waiting for the dentist. We know that people rely on their mobile phones to, to get work done submitting ideas or capturing images or even getting some photos and annotating on top. So that aspect I think is important to, to any creative professional. Um, the desktop tools, Sketchbook Pro is always like a sweetheart tool for, for the design community, um, especially for people who love to draw, um, people who you know have that flair, that style. Um, where we have Sketchbook Designer coming in is actually a little bit different because we have vector raster workflows, which means you start to combine uh, the advantages of, of two um, distinct workflows. And what that means for, I think, designers is a little bit more precision, but also the ability to edit things. Like you can grab a vector layer and change it, where you can't do that um, in Sketchbook the same way. Um, you can't grab a curve and change the whole design and create iterations as fast. But for a lot of people who are, you know, freehand, you know, really free, talented with their freehand skills, Sketchbook Pro is, is, is often what they need. So like I said, I, I mean, it's really about uh, the skills that uh, a user has, how they want to communicate, um, and each tool offers just a little bit uh, different advantages. We always talk about sketching for creative design or for concept. You know, that's always been the secret weapon for industrial designers and product designers. But when we talk about the process, sketching, illustration, image, and communication, that really, uh, it's really an aspect that fits into everyone's process. Meaning, those early sketches being taken as an image into uh, whether it's a and a surfacing package like the Alias products or into Inventor or AutoCAD, these reference images give the design spirit for uh, design refinement, for realization. Uh, what we get from mobile phones is the fact that you get the digital content earlier. Uh, we, sure, there's always the fact that you might capture a napkin sketch, you might use your phone to take a snapshot of it and email it to your, to your friends and work on it later, uh, but being able to actually work digitally on your phone and then send it over to um, to you know maybe your your engineering uh, partner and get that the discussion going is really that 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 term that that everyone wants to talk about uh, concurrent design collaboration. Uh, the nice thing about going beyond just sharing images is the ability to export curves. So this is what Sketchbook Designer really offers: uh, the ability to actually take the content created on the vector layers and to export those as DWG files and that really allows this this common file format to be read into a vast variety of, of uh, realization packages. Uh, it can go into Inventor, it can go into AutoCAD, uh, it can even go into to Illustrator for graphic work to, to happen. So what I see is, is really sketching being a fundamental aspect that ties together uh, the design process and it's not necessarily just at the beginning. Uh, it can also happen at, um, in between and at the end to help communicate and present ideas. The whole aspect of being able to create a package that's uh, really about creativity was the biggest challenge for Sketchbook Designer. Um, and I have huge respect and I'm a user of the Adobe products. Uh, but when it comes to coming up with an idea from scratch, the ability to, to invent as you're going is really challenging with existing tools. Uh, we made it uh, one of the goals and the missions of the, the product uh, on onset was that we wanted people to be creative and we had to figure out what that meant. Um, 
even aspects of when curves come together, are they locked together? Can you break them free? And we did tests with a lot of designers, a lot of creative people. And the most important thing was that you didn't necessarily know what you wanted to end up with. So it meant that you had to create a system that was flexible, um, that you know reacted predictably so people could adjust curves and not find themselves locked in. For example, um, in many packages you have to, to very much have the design completed in your mind and then you execute it uh, because you have to have a strategy of using um, you know, paths or, or, or vectors or Bezier curves to capture the shape you want. What we've been able to introduce with Sketchbook Designer is the fact that you don't have to always have the answers. You can, um, you know, like clay, you can, you know, ma make your design malleable. Uh, you're able to transform vector layers with rasters so that they're registered perfectly, meaning you can bring in photo references and then warp that with vector uh, designs overlaid on top. Um, some of the tools that are uh, really good at demonstrating this is our symmetry tool. We've created a dynamic symmetry tool that you don't have to know exactly how many spokes or how many sections of the pie you, you, you want. You can play with that. You can create a wedge and then multiply it and then even move the pivot around. And, and these are the things that I think um, start to define creativity because the magic actually happens because you don't know what the end result is.